The strange tectonic earthquakes pattern are emerging in the Grindavik uh, seismogram uh, charts, as we see. As we know that this area in Iceland, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, is separated, extending. Eurasia in, in one side, North America in one side, they are tearing apart, creating new land as the magma rises, becomes lava, new land, new ground, new lithosphere, earth crust is created. And the normal faults and faulting creates a pattern of, uh, you know, uh, tremors that we know as tectonic tremors. When every crack appears and a fall down of the uh, middle part of these two faults, a grab and forms, we will have one uh, of these earthquakes. Or regularly with crunch and extension and contraction. It appears when you mark these points every day, we had around uh, four of these, every six hours almost, this pattern repeats. Of course, we are seeing the blue line is the tectonic earthquakes, and now in the green of it, we have the magma line, which is the magmatic earthquakes, are actually switched. This may point to an eruption. It is not due to weather. The weather is fine at the moment. I wonder this pattern of the repeat uh, four or five times. It may be related to the tides. We have a tide. Of course, some uh, some people who are just, you know, parrots practically, they never think oh, and they just repeat. Even they may publish papers and so, but because they don't have independent thinking, they don't really uh, think out of the box. But when you think about this situation, you may actually not be out of range if you say that there is a relation between these earthquakes and the tides. If the waves of the ocean can affect what we pick up as, si as seismic activity on our seismometers, they can definitely have an effect on the earth crust and lithosphere. I have a video about this, just watch.